Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a two-tone vintage penguin quality lighter with a bowling motif. It has sort of a strange finish to both the case and the lid of the lighter. Shows some corrosion or adverse wear, but is still a very attractive lighter that would display very nicely in someone's collection. Just like most brush finish type lighters, it is brushed on the front and back, although I wouldn't say quite as roughly as on, say, a Zippo. And then high polish along the spines, top and bottom. There are really kind of strange looking corrosion marks or stains to the finish. I don't know if you could polish that out. This lighter is definitely overfilled with fuel and you're going to see that repeatedly as I attempt to light it during this video. If you purchase this lighter, fuel it and allow it time to settle let the volatility of the fuel settle. Let the, all the excess vapors and liquid disperse before trying to use it. Then you won't have the same problem that I'm having right now. You can see the weld dimples on the back spine of the lighter that hold the hinge. They're fairly uniform. The one on the bottom had kind of a scratch in the middle of it. You'll see that in some lighters. These Japanese made lighters from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. They're certainly no stranger to that phenomenon. All in all though, I'd say they are relatively uniform. You can see that the colors on the barrels of the hinge are different colors depending on whether they are attached to the bottom case or the lid. I was saying a while ago I didn't know if you could buff these imperfections out of the finish. I think that perhaps there is some kind of a thin I don't I almost want to say plastic and I'm not sure if that's right I, I'm afraid I am misrepresenting it there because I've seen lighters like this that did have a definite film of plastic and this is more maybe um, maybe a cheap lacquer something like that It's all me just trying to describe what I feel here. It doesn't feel like your typical brushed finish lighter. It feels like it has been coated with something. This lighter is marked high quality lighter penguin number 111957 Japan has the bowler in action motif along with a few dings also as you can see there on the lid along with the finish wear which we have already discussed there are other scratches dings dents finish loss really cool bottom stamp even though part of it especially the word quality is sort of lightly stamped Kind of sent me off on a little hunt there. Had to take more than one picture to make sure what it said. Including the number 111957. At first I thought that was 14957. But after taking a couple of photos, I'm pretty certain that it's three ones. Whether that is actually a 
legal patent number, I don't know. Or if that's a model number or what that's even supposed to denote. Doesn't really say. You can see here where the hinge is attached on the inside of the case. Inside of the case, a little corroded looking, a little dirty, but not too bad for such an old lighter. This Penguin high quality lighter has 11 holes per side of the windscreen. These Japanese flip top lighters, they always seem to really like to overwhelm you with holes in the windscreen. The cam springs can also, or especially the cam itself, can be cheaply made, and this one looks like it might be, and the spring feels a little bit stiff, but works very well when it's in the lighter. Looks like the lighter is still pretty much got its chrome, I believe that's chrome plating, although some of it has been scratched and worn here and there. The wadding was pretty stale looking, but I just left it with the wick. If they'll light, that's my default nowadays. After our discussions with our friend Migo Rang, I did clean out also the inside of that windscreen. There was a good amount of dust on the inside there. And may have cleaned up the wick a little bit as we were at it. It's a very attractive lighter. And it does look to me, I can kind of see a shadow. I don't know if that's on the finish or the adhesive or maybe the adhesive magnifying through to the finish. But either way, it doesn't really deter from the aesthetic appeal of the lighter. If you collect sports-themed flip-top petrol lighters from this time period, especially from Japan, and this is one you might want to consider. Kind of reminds me, growing up, our biggest rival in high school, was the, well, I'm not even going to name them. If you know me, you'll know who they were. We didn't actually play them in many sports by then because they were in a higher class than we were. But we played them throughout grade school and junior high and football and all the other sports. And so this lighter reminds me a little bit of that school because of the colors. My son actually graduated from that school. I spent two years traveling around on Friday nights watching that school with every ounce of my energy rooting for them to win and it was a grand time with my dad and many other family members. Get this into our eBay store. This will be the second sports themed Japanese made lighter that we have in our store after the golfing the Rodan lighter that has been there for several months. Until next time.